hello everyone. I'm back, I know. And for the first time, and I feel like it's been a very long time, we're drawing digitally. I know, groundbreaking. It's, yeah. But funny story about that, this drawing was actually originally on paper, but I forgot to film because I, I don't know, I just didn't hit the record button and I am very upset about it. But it's fine, we can still put this character in a video. She doesn't have to wait till the next, all the drawings I didn't post. No, 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 I like this character too much to wait, okay? I like her so much that I've already drawn her three times as of when I'm recording this. All right, now let's actually get into what this drawing is. So I decided to draw an alien. Um, I don't know why. Oh, I know why now. Because originally this was a one color challenge, but since I didn't record it and I was bad, it's not anymore. So that's why she's an alien, because she was blue. Anyway, here's me trying to figure out the symmetry, but I can't, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna freehand it, and you can't stop me. So, she's gonna have, actually no, I don't wanna spoil the, the coloring. The coloring is important, and it can't be spoiled. So, yeah. Um, working on her expression. I did put a little, little mole there, but I moved it, I didn't like it, so I got rid of it later. Um, now we're just working on the shoulders. I hate drawing shoulders, it sucks. <clears throat> anyway, we're almost done doing the line work and then we can move on to coloring, which is, you know, the actually fun part. Here's her little antennas. She has these instead of ears, because I don't like drawing ears either. And it works with the alien things, so you can't stop me. So, now we're working on the spacecraft. And it may be one of my favorite parts of this whole drawing because I put a little person in it and normally I wouldn't go into that much detail. But this drawing took me such a long time because of the stars. I used a tool to put the stars in, easy peasy, took me like 30 seconds, bing, bang, boom, done. And then I had to put glow on all of the stars and I had to make the stars glow. Anyway, that's not important right now. So, right now, I'm doing the hair, and it looks a hot mess right now, but it'll look good soon. Just give it a minute. It'll, it'll look okay soon. I'll fix it, I promise. So, the top out half of her hair is pink, and the bottom half of her hair is not going to be pink. I want to give you a second to guess. Guess. Good, I think that's enough time to guess what the second half of her hair is gonna be. So if you didn't guess, that was a very awkward silence for you. Uh, the second half of the hair is gonna be purple. So I'm gonna slap the purple in and then I'm going to merge the layers. And then I'm gonna try and figure out <clears throat> how I'm gonna blend this hot mess. Oh no, that's not good. We're just gonna, we're gonna struggle for a little bit. So, I saw that coming. I knew it when I was drawing it. This was going to be awkward to have to narrate. And it is. There we go. I finally got it under control. Let's see, for her shirt, I decided to go with a teal color because I didn't really want to use pink or purple. I feel like, I didn't, I just didn't want it to all be two colors. Cause that just, it didn't feel right, you know? So, we're going with teal. Even though I put a pink little like collar thing, I, I guess I changed my mind and you can't stop me. And we're gonna put stars on it. Cause you know, she's from outer space. Of course we're gonna put stars on her clothes. It just makes sense in my mind. It doesn't really have to make sense in yours, I guess, because this is my drawing and you can't tell me not to like it because I love it. Anyway, we're adding a little sparkle to all the stars and working on her skin color. And as soon as I finished finding the perfect skin color and coloring in her entire face, I remember she is an alien. She's not supposed to have normal skin or like she's not supposed to have 
like an actual skin color that people have on earth. That's not, no, she's not supposed to have that. So after I struggled trying to find a good skin tone, I settled on a mint green so that it would like look good with her hair. And I think it turned out really good. It may be basic because you know, all aliens are green or most aliens that you see on TV or movies, they're mostly green. But I don't know, I like the way it turned out. And I was trying something different with the face, so uh, just watch me fail at that. And here's the part where I turn that little mole into freckles. Anyway, I'm fixing the eyebrows because they're just thin little lines, and I don't like it. And look, don't they look so much better? I fixed them. Can you believe it? I never fixed them. Okay, I'm going in with these antenna things. And I originally was using the watercolor tool for this, but um, it gave me trouble later on with this guy, so I turned them. I used a different tool for them. You can't stop me. No. So, we're gonna fix those up, because they look a hot mess. Do, 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 do. There we go, all fixed, we're all better. Now, I'm starting to think that I messed that up on purpose so that I would have to do that awkward thing. Okay, now we're gonna work on the little person inside the spacecraft coming to pick her up. So the story behind this is you are the person who is looking at her, right? And you see her and you're like, that's not normal. And and there's a spacecraft in the background and you and you realize she's she's not from here. She's from out of town. Anyway, that's enough about me doing that. Anyway, I added the little the little glowies on the lights of the spacecraft. And I'm trying to add glass. This is what that is. I'm adding glass. So you turn down the opacity and then you have glass. I know, I'm a genius. It's never been done before. Going on the layer underneath the lights to add that little block of color. This glow gave me a particularly hard time and I didn't like the way it was turning out. So I fixed it. I know, aren't you so proud of me? I fixed something. Doing touch-ups, trying to avoid the stars. I don't know if I was trying to then, but I'm trying to now. So, um, yeah. Fixing up the glass, because I didn't realize how bad it looked before I added the background. So we're gonna fix it. And fixing things is good, because it makes you realize that you did bad, or you can improve on something. So that's what that is about. Enough stalling, it's time for the stars. Like I said, that was nice and quick. It took me nice and quick and painless. It took me like 30 seconds to do the stars and then, like I said, changed the antenna the ear things. This is how she hears. It's just, I don't know. I'm not really sure what planet she's from. If you can think of a name for the planet that she's from, comment down below because I'm too lazy to think of one. So yeah, if you can figure one out for me, that would be great. If you can't, oh well, I couldn't, so I don't know. And now the painful process of making these stars glow. I'm going to leave now because I don't wanna to have to stall for five minutes while my past self figures out how to quickly add all of these glowing stars in the sky. So I'll be back, probably not, that was probably a lie, but I'll be back to say goodbye. So you get to enjoy some music while I leave forever.